So yeah, Josh and Lowe, winner semis. All right, here we go. Wow, I don't think we should be playing anything on side stream right now. Yeah, I guess they did two of the losers' quarters and probably like losers' eights. Can we uh, actually request that things aren't that that stuff isn't done on side stream? Yeah. Why why are we doing that? I don't know. Um, it's not up to us. Yes, um, maybe we should have toxic. No. I mean, right. they have wow, Lowe goes Pika. Uh, Pika ditto here. I'm a little surprised. I thought Lowe would go Fox. Um, he, I guess Spark kind of messed up his Fox. Nah, yeah, in the crew battle. I just, I honestly didn't know Lowe played play Pika at all until this weekend. Yeah, I don't think that this is a good uh, choice for him. I don't think his Pika ditto skills are at Bark's level. Um, he has a very good Pika, and he's good at Pika dittos. He likes them. And I know Bark is very good at the Fox matchup, but I think he's got a very good Falcon and Fox. Yeah, yeah, Lowe's Falcon's really good. Like, Josh Josh will mess up some Falcons, but it's still that matchup we just saw. Like, anything can happen. Yeah. I mean, you can see Lowe is very versed in this one particular matchup as Pikachu. Yeah, I guess he has Pika for Pika and uh, Puff. Yeah. Probably Kirby. He's very good against uh, Jiggly as Falcon, though. Yeah, it, it's a tough one. I mean, they can go either way. Yeah, he's overwhelming in that matchup. He's very fast, puts out a lot of hitboxes. Oh, that's a good job. That's a nice forward air because it, even though invincibility was still going, it ended during the forward air. Yeah, and if you're gonna take hits during invincibility, you have to act immediately once you get hit. A lot, you'll see a lot of people actually shield. Yeah. They scratch me up. I'm like you're invincible. You don't have to shield. Yeah, you ate like three hits of that before there. Oh. And a bad recovery from low. He's looking to get snap right to the ledge. And it may not have worked anyway because Bark was putting out that uh, up tilt. A good uppy escape. Or down tilt, rather. One of those tilts. Uh, yeah, I think we just had Fire Fire Blaster. Really yeah, I, I see Fire Blaster just walked out. Yeah. Um, so maybe Fire took it, but yeah, I'm bummed we didn't get to see it. Yeah, we're we're gonna try to make sure everything is on the mainstream for you guys, but a nice. Uh, oh. That always feels good. You're like, oh, I'm gonna trick them and go low, then high with quick attack. But if you don't land like immediately on a platform, you just slow fall and they just come up to you. Yeah, and it's really only uh, only best when uh, you're using it to avoid someone going out. So, Bark is another three stock victory. Oh, I guess Kiro had the other one. All these Pikas, they look the same to me. Low switching. The Falcon. So, so with the best of five, I mean, switching the Falcon is pretty smart. You, you Even if this doesn't go well, you still have another game you can play around with. Oh, fuck with the down tilt. All right, we're going to move it over so we have everything for you in one place. Um, Tark Gentleman's going to... Ooh, and like he's got yeah. gloves to do that. I mean, it's it's pretty free. Like once you get the timing down, you hit them low. They're not gonna grab you out of it with up B. And if actually if they do grab you out of it, the the like lightning bolt comes down and breaks you out of it. Oh, and then it puts you in an edge guard position. I think I did see that once from a I think it was a Japanese video where he was talking about that. Yeah, it's kind of obnoxious how many times getting caught by Falcons up beyond purpose actually is good. You got the grab and then pause. You could figure out which way was the best to go with it. Oh, that's he was just in that perfect position to get the double throw. It's either extremely difficult or impossible to get the double throw if Falcon doesn't slightly go off stage. F smash, bad edge guard. Get him attack? No. Uh, 
I think Lowe is just playing a little, not a little, much too aggressive for this matchup to be successful. And Bark just connecting. Once he gets a hit, he follows up very, very well. All right, Lowe does take stock. 4-1 comeback. It's doable in this matchup, but unlikely. Josh misses a recovery, or uh, an edge guard. Probably one of the first ones he's really missed. All right, Lowe, he started picking it up towards the end of that game, but I don't know if it's enough for him to stay Falcon. We'll see how he feels about it. Nope, goes back to Pika. Both of them were three stocks. That's the thing. The Pika Ditto was a three stock, and the Falcon matchup was a three stock, so. I guess he just got frustrated with the Falcon, as as one can do. Yeah, I guess it's uh, it's just such a volatile matchup too, right? No turnaround from Bark. Thought he was gonna turn around and get the weak nair off the uh, stage. Low really looks out of sorts right now too. I wonder if the, why we're not going to see Fox. He's very good at that matchup, and I know you know we see what Bark does to LD, but it's different when it's someone you're used to playing all the time. I agreed. Like I he'll beat LD, and then he went and lost to Dexter's Fox. Yeah. Like you never know. And just to update you guys, because we got a little information. Um, so we just, uh, on the side stream, Fire Blaster actually lost 3-2 to Fyro. Oh, it was game five? It was game five. Oh. And apparently it was really exciting. Uh, Fire Blaster threw his controller at the end. Yeah, I saw him storm off. Yeah, so that's recorded, so you'll be able to go and back and watch that at a later time if you guys want. Um, you got to be careful, though. Those are cactus. Those are cactus uploads. <laughs> so you'll get them in January. Oh, and that's a great combination. It's gonna set them up for an easy up tilt to back air. Those are so fun as Pika. So Lowe's, Lowe's doing much better in this Pika ditto than he did in the first one, which was a three stock. Uh, he's already taken more stocks. He's got the fire in him. From the Falcon going down, needs revenge. Tries to place that Nair out there. Bark is so good at getting grabs in neutral. Oh, and there's that pivot up tilt or the turnaround. And up that's tilt. that's one thing that Low has in his game that Josh really doesn't. Are those like those quick little pivot up tilt approaches? Yeah. Like, you know the ones that continue combos. That Kiro style. Yeah. yeah. And I think as good as. Bark is in the neutral. If he could add that into his game, like yeah, he's that's a turnaround. Huge. Yeah, I mean, he just doesn't have it yet. No, I mean it's, and I think it's maybe a tech barrier that he's still working to overcome. I think it's just, it, it wouldn't surprise me if it's just something that Josh doesn't practice. Yeah, he's just like, I'm not gonna bother with it. Like I don't need that tech. <laughs> Someone was saying uh, LD doesn't do running flat drops at all. Um, I don't know. It's not something that he like. He's incorporated into his game. He might like do it if he consciously thinks about it. Like I'm gonna do it right now. Right. Uh, but it's not automatic for him at all. And that down air is really nice while um, Bark is trying to use his up B. That hitbox just stays out smash. longer. No, I think he actually jumped there. He meant to go for an up smash. Yeah. I think you saw it. Another up tilt Oof. from Low, but he was just too late on that tech. If that up tilt connected that on the flat, been, that, that would have been game. Yeah, he would have had a combo to finish off Bark. Bark trying to bait him to the top flat, maybe? Well, it's, oh. Josh. it's Josh. He wants to bait him to a position where he can get a thunder kill. Yeah? Oh. See, that's the thing. You, we both do stuff like that. Um, you, you, you bait them, and you scare them away. And then you, and then you just you hit them with it the next time. Yeah, yeah. And that's that, the meta right there.